Hello, you hunk of hunk of burning love. How are you today? I am doing fantastic. And let me just say, I should not be let out of the house when I am bored because I went to Home Depot and I just looked everywhere at everything for things to pour over. And let me tell you, I saw the pearly gates open when I found this item. How awesome is this it is a sink a faucet handle <laughs> but look at the grooves we are going to pour paint over that and we are going to then as if that is odd enough take a toothbrush da, 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 and we are going to swipe with the toothbrush I told you, I'm bored. I need something fun and exciting to get my spirit back into this. So let's get started. Well, let me introduce you to the colors for this video. So first we have Liquitex Basic Bright Aqua Green. And that would be this color here. Put my flash on so you can see really good the color. Then I have Anthroquinone Blue by Vallejo. Now these are both tube paints. Okay. And the next three colors are all primary elements. Now, you may not know this with primary elements, if you purchase this paint system, you can combine colors to make your own specific color. So for this color here that I'm gonna show you, I combined Peacock Feather and Bolivian Blue to make this gorgeous, deep, phthalo turquoise color. It, it's just delicious. Here I combined Plumeria and Ruby Red. to get a really vibrant pink red color. I'm sorry, is that? No, it's ruby red. I was thinking ruby slippers. I was close. <laughs> and then this one here is called African Jade. It's just absolutely gorgeous. If you're interested in these pigments, I have a code, Tammy Anderson Art 120. It's in the description, and Color Art sells these products. Again, they are a dry form of paint that, along with these, you should be purchasing either a bottle of Polypore or a bottle of enamel. She also has kits that has everything combined in. So with my 20% off, you can get yourself a nice little setup. So, for today's demonstration, I am using these and my tube paints with the Vivid Enamel. And as soon as I get these out of the way here, I will show you. This is the enamel, okay? This you use along with some of this to make your bloom recipe. Now, if you don't want to use blooms, or do a bloom technique, then you would want a pot, a bottle of polypore. Okay. This blended with those dry powders, create this for you, your own ready to pour paint. You can add silicone in and just, or if you don't want silicone, it's fine. Pour your colors. So two, two things, you need a bottle of the polypore, in a bottle uh, or some of the primary elements. I will explain what I'm doing as I go. Um, this right here is white acrylic paint mixed with Floetrol, that is it. And I will show you the consistency. And what I'm going to do, and this was mentioned by two viewers and I'm so grateful that they mentioned it. Right in the center of my canvas, I'm going to put the only color that's going to have Floetrol in it. 
right here okay and the reason for that is we're going to cover it with our little doohickey here the reason for that is is i'm going to surround the canvas or cover the canvas with white house paint and sometimes when you're trying to swipe and you're using one paint that has Floetrol and one that doesn't, you will swipe more of this house paint over your colors than the acrylic paint with the Floetrol in it. And it dulls out your colors because the house paint is just so thick. Plus, it's not going to create those cells for you because it doesn't have the Floetrol in them. So by me putting that little spot of white down first, I'm ensuring that when I swipe, I'm only going to be swiping the white type of white, <laughs> the right type of white, if that makes sense. So this house paint here is mixed with nothing but water, just a little tiny bit of water to thin it out. And if you put Floetrol into house paint, I'm not sure it would be behave the same as acrylic paint with Floetrol. I haven't tested that yet to see if that works. Ooh, it's a big old gob of something in there. So that's why I like to use acrylic paint for my swiping paint and not the White House paint. Now there are tons of recipes for acrylic pouring. This is just one. And listen, I know a lot of people do not like the bloom technique. This is not what I'm doing. I'm using the bloom techniques recipe to do my acrylic pouring. So there is a difference. I'm not trying to create a bloom with this. I just like the fact that the Floetrol is only in one color and therefore you can control where your cells go. You do not have to do balloons because you're using that recipe. You can use it to do a Dutch port. You can use it to do a swipe. You can do a flip cup with it. You can do all the techniques you want. It's just that I like the fact that you're able to control because a lot of those other techniques have Floetrol in all the colors and you get cells everywhere. For this, I want the cells only to be where I swipe. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in, pause you guys, and I'll be right back. All right, we're ready. I'm so excited to try this. I'm just going to torch my bubbles, my air bubbles really quick. And you know, I know I repeat a lot of the same things over and over again. I hope that you understand that there are new people joining every day. And I know that I hurt my chances of growing into a big, huge channel by teaching. But it, this is what I set out to do. You know, I can just put some music on and zip through a video really quick, five, ten minutes, be done. But I do this because I want to try to help. So please, if you know, all the things that I'm saying already, just fast forward and get to the pouring part, right? Shut up, Tammy. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I'm scared. I really am scared. These are really pretty faucet handles, by the way. So first I'm going to put down this anthroquinone blue. And it's going to take a minute for it to come down the handle and start spreading out. So Oh, but that design looks awesome. Okay, next I'm going to use my special blend of Peacock Feather and Bolivian Blue. Uh, you should see how pretty that looks going down the shaft of that faucet handle. Next will be the bright aqua green. Oh, 
Wow. That is really cool. Ah, I love it. Then the African Jade. It's doing a strainer effect. Believe it or not. Now I hope, I know with the bottom, the bottle of the bottoms, when I put it over the puddle of the white in another video I did that you haven't seen yet, it did protect the white. I'm hoping that this isn't seeping under this doohickey here. All right, next is going to be my Plumeria in Ruby Red. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, lots of chunks in that. The only thing that I'm not liking is how close the valleys are. And then I'm going to top it off with a little more of the anthraquinone blue. And just for funsies, I'm going to put a little bit of the white over it also. Just in case it did seep underneath. That is really, really cool. The design is really cool. Let me give you a close up. Pretty swanky. Pretty swanky. Okay, I've zoomed you in. I'm going to remove this nice and slowly. There is some suction there. Oh, I kind of protected it. That's cool. All right, here we go. Toothbrush time. <laughs> oh, I told you, don't let me get bored. It's not a good thing. Oh, my torch is out of gas. It's out of gas. Always have a backup. <laughs> it's really pretty. I'm liking it. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm scared. Now it's kind of too thin, the toothbrush. Well, here, let's do this. Let's make four of these little pointy things so it kind of matches. I'm going to go through this one again. Make sure it gets all the way down there. I should have moved my cups before I did that. We'll go diagonally across. And then this way. Okay, now let's use it. A long way. So the white is underneath. Now it all kind of closed in. Yeah, that's doing a good job swiping, I will say that. 
So you never know. This, this is why I test these crazy things. So that you know if they work or they don't. So what I'm doing is I'm starting off flat. And then I'm kind of lifting up the brush to make that point. So you see I start like this and then come up. Okay, do one here. You need to go on an angle. Just like so. I'm going to do two more here. And then what we're going to do is that center. We're going to do something funky in there. Let's see. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. All right, so what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to take the colors. And I'm going to make a circle. Just like this. Same order I put the paint down on the canvas. Over the uh, faucet handle is the order I'm putting these colors down. Just like so. And then I'm going to put some white in the center of that circle. And with my airbrush, I am going to blow it out over those colors to create a little center. And you shall see what I mean in uno momento, por favor. This is my favorite part, airbrush time. <laughs> Because you get to do cool stuff like that. There we go. That's it. I'm done. I love it. I'm going to give you a close-up. I am very, very happy with that faucet handle. So we'll go this way first. And then I will show it to you with the lights off so you can see all that shimmer and sparkle. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. Um, airbrush, I will try to find a handle like that and put it in my Amazon shop. So look there for 
all the supplies that I use. In the description, it says my Amazon shop. The center is really pretty. Here it is with the lights off. I also have a Facebook group, United We Pour. I run that with my best friend, Lisa Wyatt, from Lisa Wyatt Art, who also has a channel, who you should also be watching. She does some really cool out there type of projects and uh, really gets creative. So give her a, um, a view. I will link her channel in the description. I really need to stop talking when I'm trying to focus on showing this because I screw up my words. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, again, don't forget to check out my Amazon shop and my art is for sale on Etsy. If there's something that you see that you want that's not on my Etsy shop, then you could just email me at yahoo.com. I hope you are all having a very happy Saturday and happy pouring.